What is up? I'm back. I'm playing Peglin again today. We're doing a challenge that one of my Discord members, Terrible, actually gave me called Terrible's Chaos and Cake. It is pretty much just, I have to use Short Fuse, My Relic, Cake, and then a relic of my choice, which I'm going with Crumble Character Sheet because I think it's fun. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's fun. It's no reason otherwise. It's just a fun relic. They didn't say anything about getting rid of the base default orbs. I kept all the base default orbs. I added Orboros and then Mirror Orb, a orb of my choice, which I said I will go with Echo Orb because it's a okay AOE one, especially with Orboros, is going to be a lot better for AOE than regularly. And then we're trying to basically going to try to get rid of all the default orbs and then try to get as best of a relic all the good relics that we can in this run and then win basically i can grab all relics and stuff but i can't grab orbs so all the rolls are currently on the screen when i'm talking about this right now and I can obtain orbs. Increase maximum health. Increase maximum health because like it doesn't really matter anyways too because I'm probably going to win. Definitely going to win. We're on crucible zero. This is crucible zero. This is super easy. Like I can just pretty much go for bombs and pretty much win like crazy. No problem. No problem with winning. And the game's a little bit loud. We'll turn it down a little bit. Alright, so. Now, we did that. And we're on to the next thing. And that is going to be killing all of these. And we have a ton of health. Just, just know that. Like, if we can get the Echo Orb 2 after the... Orboros, it's going to do massive damage. It's going to do some massive damage. And we can't buy orbs, like I said. But we can get all the relics, so we can we can probably win this pretty easily. Definitely win this. So this is Crystal Zero. If I lose this, then... Like, what, what am I doing playing Peg Ellen? Like, Crystal Zero is nothing. You can easily win Crystal Zero. I probably could beat it blindfolded. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> don't give me that as a challenge. I probably can't do that, to be honest. Uh, but if you do want to give me challenges, Leave a link in, or leave a description of the challenge below in the comments below, and I will do it. Maybe if I like the sounds of it. If it's a ridiculous challenge like other ones, I'll try it once, and if I fail, then I probably won't do it again. But if I like the sounds of it, I'll I'll try it until I beat it, either that or I'll try it until it kills me <laughs> but no obtaining orbs no buying orbs yeah no buying orbs obtaining orbs is okay they didn't say anything about upgrading so i think upgrading is fine well upgrading would be not upgrading would be kind of ridiculous but because like this is crystal zero it's not going to be too hard anyways. Oh, there we go. We got the curse forged anyways, so we can legitly upgrade stuff. <laughs> no problem now. <laughs> and we'll get rid of the stone. And now we have Orboros, a level three. Nice. And then I still need to open up. <laughs> that and obs obs it wasn't open for a second there okay so i'll go with obtaining orbs are fine but i can't buy them so bramble is fine grabbing bramble 
We'll go for elite. Why not? This is a crucible zero. This is nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, why did we get two brambles? Oh, mem orb. Mirror orb. Mem orb. Why did I say mem orb? Ah. It's mirror orb. Mem orb is the, that one I, I kind of don't. I kind of avoid mem orb, to be honest. It's okay, but really, really, you have... It's only good in certain situations. If you're doing, like, tons and tons of stuff, like, breaking tons and tons of eggs, which... It's very hard to do, to be honest, on some maps. Some maps, it's just ridiculous to get to the pegs. Alright. Nice. Yeah, I'll take some hits. That's like, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Alright. This is fine. Fine. It's okay. And then we kill it. Nice. And then we'll upgrade the Ek Orb. Ek Orb. Because I need it upgraded to actually get damage output. I don't, Actually, it's not doing damage output. Huh. Does it not do damage output? All right. Well, that sucks. Uh, Alchemist's cookbook is just uh, broken. <laughs> So we'll take that. Yeah, all enemies get attacked and echo 100. So if it's the first orb up, it does like zero damage. Unless it's, you get crit, then it does one damage per peg. But we'll, we'll definitely skip it if we get it first. So. Bramble should be good. And it should do lots of damage. Especially against the... What boss are we doing? We're doing the slime boss. Alright. Yeah, that's the best boss for the Bramble. So. Bramble will help us with the slime boss. If you don't know Bramble, like, in the slime boss... Brambling the slime boss is one of the best ways to actually deal with the slime boss. The slime boss is hard, but it's it's not that hard once you actually understand how to deal with it. Like, even Bold Orb is pretty good against the slime boss. You can hit a lot of pegs. You can hit a lot of pegs. Yep. So there's a lot of stuff that you can actually do during the fight for that fight. And to make it a lot easier. <laughs> like hitting the bombs during the lower crystals is good. But during the higher crystals, you're going to have to rely heavily on either effects like Bramble. The slime doesn't do much anymore, or blind doesn't do much anymore. I, I don't know why I said slime, but brambling it doesn't do much anymore, and it's just not worth it to blind it too much. Did I say brambling it? I think I said brambling it. Brambling it is actually really good. You want to bramble it. You definitely want to bramble it. Don't not bramble the boss. Brambling that boss is a really good thing. Dang. Yeah. So, brambling it just makes it for it goes a lot easier. Because you're sticking the boss there, then you're not getting eaten, and you don't have to worry about getting hurt. And this is a good time. You're having a good time. I think Bramble is one of the best effects for the slime boss. It used to be, I thought, Blind was the best effect for the slime boss, but yeah, now definitely don't 
don't do blind for the slime boss because they nerfed the one that once you get eaten, now it can digest you. It makes sense, technically, like you, you would get eaten and then you, when the stuff that you eat gets digested, yes. And it will take damage no matter what. In a technical sense, yeah, that's that's correct, but it's just annoying in this game. That's that way. I like it. I like it. I do like that effect, though. It, it's not bad. I like I like blind. It's just. I wish that the slime boss was not immune to blind now. In a, in more of a technical sense, because you're going to get eaten, and there is so many times in so many of the crucibles that I've only beat it because of being eaten and then having blinded it to over 100% and then I wasn't taking any damage. That's pretty much now just completely not going to work like that. I don't need a heal. We don't need to heal at all, probably, during this whole phase. Like, whole thing. Whole time we're playing this. We're going to fully heal. So, it doesn't matter too much. And let's see. 140. 140 is pretty good. Alright. We're about to kill it. Almost. And I kind of want to get this off. The Echo Orb. Let's see. Let's see. 150. That We hit barely any pegs. That's a pretty good orb. I need to start using that more often. I almost grabbed an orb. <laughs> even though I'm not supposed to. So, Molten Mantle completely broken i could actually easily win with that right now even if i grab that and but yeah we want to make it harder on myself this is what i grab i might die if i grab that though <laughs> all right let, let's go sapper sack we're going to make it harder on myself all right sapper sack is great it's op but you do take the risk of killing yourself. And I don't need a heal here. We didn't take that much damage at all. And we heal from Cookie. So we do have a healing relic. So we should be fine. It should be okay. That should be. Alright, and we killed those, and then that shield took a big blunt of that hit. Nice, that was good. Mm -hmm. And then 120 damage, and then we'll go, I hate, <laughs> when I do that, alright. And we go into the fire. Fire is always great to go into. You definitely always want to go into the fire. The fire is your aim for the game. No, don't don't aim for the game. For the fire. The fire is bad. It hurts you. If you don't get my sarcasm. Alright. I like Bramble level 3 because it also has overflow. Overflow is amazing. Alright. I still like Polterbgeist the most for AoE. It's really good. Echo Orb is good, but you you need damage. You need damage for other orbs, or you're not going to be like doing lots of damage for Echo Orb. It's okay, but it's not my preferred orb. And we have to heal here, or we're going to probably die. Oh. We should have went the other way. Eh. Whatever. It gets this run done and over with a lot faster. We don't need the relic anyways. We don't need it too much. 
We'll go for the elite, though, in the middle. Alright, well, we killed a bunch of stuff. Yeah, and this is why red bombs are broken with Saprasac, because they do so much damage. They're doing 300 damage right now, instead of the regular damage that they would do. And we can hit as many red bombs during the navigation phase anyways, because they don't trigger during the navigation phase. So, it doesn't matter how many red bombs we throw out. As long as we get rid of those before hitting too many of them. If we hit too many of them, it could be a bad problem. And if we get the wrong boss fight in the last boss fight, that might be a problem too. We might lose. Even on Crucible Zero. Okay. It doesn't even matter if I grab health or not. I'm going to grab health mostly. And then we'll we'll see how this fight goes. And it is already going bad so far. All right, nice. 160 damage and we killed a bunch of them. All right, it's going good now. It's going good. We got this. All right, come on, hit one of those red bombs. Nice. All right, so now we'll go over here to the leap fight. And then we'll go to what path? The left path. I want that elite fight on that path. So we'll see how the elite is on that path. And then we'll probably easily defeat this one. Alright. Yep. It's already defeated. Well, we just hit some red bombs and hurt ourselves. But whatever. Doesn't truly matter. We got the Blista boss. Eh. I'm not gonna heal. Just to be make it a little bit more fun. And then now we got more healing. So we should be absolutely fine now. Dang it, we went to the right. Okay, well, that makes it more difficult. Every collected during navigation. Eh. Alright, we'll go there. We'll do that. And then we'll go like that. And then we'll do Hegel and we'll remove the stone. Remove the stone. And then we'll remove a second stone in a little bit. Once we can get to a shop, probably. Uh, and I should have probably went to the shop over there. But, you know what? That's fine. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the Bramble. Because then we're going to Bramble the boss. And then it's going to hurt the minions it has passing through it. Nice. And then it just took a massive damage from the bread bombs. And then we're getting really seriously freaking hurt. And then, yeah. All right. All right. So now more cookie. More cookie. More cookie. But more cookie equals also more red bombs. <laughs> so it's a win-win. Win lose situation. Win 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 lose. Yeah, whatever. All right. Oh shoot. That was bad. All right. We're getting in a bad position now because we're getting really low on health. Well, we got the cookie. The tr cookie triggered, so that's not bad at all. And then 
We got really low on health. We did. But it's okay. It's absolutely fine. We could go multi-ball. Multi-ball would be pretty cool. But we could also go morbid. Morbid is awesome. Yeah, let's go morbid. Morbid is probably one of my new favorite orbs, but I don't know how the new update is going to be. So we'll have to see how the new update goes once that comes out. And hopefully there's going to be lots of cool new orbs. There is a lot of cool looking new orbs in that update. I haven't seen much of it, but I of course saw the trailer. Like I'm not going to not watch that trailer. That trailer was cool. But if you want to not be spoiled, I'm not going to say anything else than it was just, it looked cool. And that there is, of course, new content. They always push out new content and new updates, so that's not new. That's not surprising. And I don't know why I threw that. Well, whatever. It... It's not like I hit the mirror. We're doing so much damage. That's a thousand damage. Wow. That was crazy. That was a crazy amount of damage. Okay. Oh, uh, well. I don't need that. Okay. Let's go with going to the left. And then we can try to get to the shop on the left side. All right, go over here, get that. Then we'll do that. And then we'll go get more red bombs. And we almost killed everything. Almost killed everything. So now we'll get that red bomb and kill it. Nice. And then we'll go heal. And then we'll go to the left. And then get the shop and remove a stone. And then we'll exit. I'm not going to buy any relics. I don't need to buy any relics. I didn't need to buy anything. Well, I technically I did buy health this run. So I did buy stuff in this run. My mom just got home. If you can hear her, I'm sorry. Alright, so we'll go over here. And then we'll also hit up both of those elites. So we go mindful of those two elites over there. All right, well, these have a lot of health. All right, they have a good amount of health. Pretty good amount of health. And 800 is pretty, pretty awesome amount of damage. And then that was a pretty good shot right there. That was awesome. All right, we'll do that and then we'll heal up and then we'll go to the left and get a delete and then We'll heal up more eventually. And then go like this and do more damage. And we kill it. Nice. And then what's the boss? The boss is the one that I didn't want. So we need to go into that boss fight with full health. Previously thrown bombs. That could kill us. That could literally kill us right there. I'm thinking popping corn. Popping corn is probably going to be the best play here. And then we'll go to the left side. And then I guess we're going to the right side, which I'm not very happy with. It's okay. We'll get round guard. Round guard is pretty good. And then we'll go to the left. 
and we'll go enter the tear and fight the forest boss, which we're fighting the slime boss again. And then it should be easy. Let's fight. And we're at 280 damage. And then we're going to try to get a refresh. And we're doing 300 damage. That's good. And then I'm going to get the Echo Orb out and just do 300 damage like crazy. Echo Orb plus Orb Boros is pretty awesome. That's pretty good. Echo Chamber is also really good. If we can get Echo Chamber, we could do massive damage. All right, playing crits also multiply, so we'll go with that. If we can get the crit, a crit one, no, we're not going to get that, but roll, uh, actually, should I remove something? No, let's not remove anything, ex but we'll grab the gardener's gloves because then it reduces the damage for the one thing for damage for I don't think it does damage for Orberos. It says deal four damage to yourself. Do I take four damage or only took two right there? Did I take four or two? I don't know. I think it was two. Yeah, we took two, actually. So, it does work for Orboros. I forgot about that. Yes, it does work for Orboros, but it also works for Bramble. It mostly is for Bramble. Like, that's what I'm mostly using it for. Or the healing one. Nos... Or... What's it called? Nos... Or... Rock 2. Right? That's what it's called. And it's like healing damage yourself but like you can heal based on the damage but also damages you well not based on the damage damage that you do you heal but you also take 15 damage and then it goes up based on every time you throw it out or no every single time it goes up even if you don't throw it out it actually goes up still. <laughs> I learned that mistake one time. So just throw it out. If you're going to be using those. For the most part. Alright. Well, we're going to take a hit. And no, we didn't actually. I thought we are going to. It's good. We killed it. And then we'll go here. Heal up. And then we'll go over here and go over here and then we'll go down and then we'll go to the boss fight eventually. Whatever this is. Now I'm going to run away from that fight. That. Well, yeah, we didn't need it. That would have helped us actually. Maybe it would have. Would have. Yeah, maybe it would have. We don't need it though. This is a crutch that I don't need. And we should be able to kill it with both of these orbs right here with Orboros and then Echo Orb after this. Oh my god, we're going to destroy this boss right now. We already killed it with that Orboros. <laughs> nice, let's go. Now we're doing the same challenge at Crucible 7. So. Now, let's see how far we can get on here. Let's go. This is not really going to be super hard, but once we get to... Oh, we'll up it to 15 after this one. And then that should be a lot harder. We'll see how this is. The enemies could have the same amount of health in both of these two because of crumble character sheet. It could mean that any of the health for the enemies can be the same. And we'll upgrade the Orbros. I have the Memorb. Mirror Orb. Memor Mirror Orb. Mirror Orb. 
I don't know why I keep on thinking it's, it's Memorb. It's not Memorb. Far from it. Stash of Focus. You know, if we get the wall, we could check out if it kills us. Uh, probably not. We don't want to do that, though. Defeating the enemy is defeated. Refresh the board. Refreshing the board when an enemy is defeated is pretty good, but let's go with Stash of Focus. And then we'll go to the Elite, I guess, over here. I don't know why I threw that one out. That was stupid of me. I don't know why I keep on doing that. I did that last run, too. That's okay. That's fine. You all make mistakes. It's not like I'm perfect at this game. Like, I make mistakes, yeah. I make mistakes. I've beaten all the crystals currently out, but I I made mistakes, yeah. I think it's probably going to be easier to beat Crystal 15 now that we have a bunch of more relics since I've played Crystal 15 to try to beat it legitly, like without playing a custom run on it. I almost beat it the first time I tried last time, which was very fun. I almost beat it. I got I got to the final boss and got killed. That one boss is really hard. What's that boss even called? Like uh, the sapper one, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. But that one is ridiculously hard. That, that one's difficult. It's because of the red bombs, and then it starts stacking up and then does more damage. You have to pretty much kill it as soon as possible, or it's going to kill you. And this fight's kind of hard right now. And then we have tons of stones right now. Oh, this is terrible. And then we have that <laughs> refresh all the way in the corner over here. But we got it. We got the refresh. But it was not good enough damage for this orb right now so we didn't do too much damage for that that would which is sucky but that's okay we'll hopefully be able to do this hopefully maybe <laughs> we're just getting screwed over <laughs> of course the refreshes in that cor in the opposite corner it was just in it was just in the opposite corner Dang it. Why? Alright, now it's in a good optimal location. Alright. And that's a pretty good hit right there. That was a pretty good hit. Alright. Now we get some damage output. Alright, well. 69 damage. That was not great, but whatever. It was fine. It was enough to really do something to the bot or to the elite well technically he is a mini boss this is a mini boss so they're fine and then we'll do 39 damage and we'll do that and we killed it you can't take any orbs which is kind of sucky but we can upgrade orbs and we'll heal because I just took a massive amount of damage. Dungeon die would be fun to take, but I'm not going to take it because Prime Rod of Frost is going to be a lot more helpful to me. It's going to be massive help right now. It's going to really, really help me out. And then hopefully we do more damage. Oh, those have a ton of damage. Okay, well, ton of health. I have to do a ton of damage to them. That's what I wanted to say. Plumbling on words today. Sorry about that. So, yeah, we have to kill those with a lot of damage. 
definitely is fun. Fun, fun, fun. Alright. And 15 damage. I don't like Echo Orb too much because it doesn't do a lot of damage. Unless you're doing massive amount of damage with your regular orb. If you're doing massive damage with your regular orb, then it can echo or echo it 10 and it will do a ton of damage too. But it stays at that damage. It does not multiply. It doesn't go up. That's the problem. Unless you have stuff like the clock one, then the clock would actually start repeating and going up in damage wise. But other than that, it wouldn't do that. So we'll just get that upgraded all the way. And then we'll try to get rid of these by going to events, trying to get the events to get rid of orbs. So yeah, okay. So we got rid of a stone now. We force the stone in, and then we can duplicate one. We'll duplicate the Orboros. Yeah, let's go duplicate Orboros. And we'll go to the left. Left. To the right, I mean. Right. And then we'll go to the left. <laughs> and then we'll go to the right. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with this let's go with more bombs why not oh well i mean right let's go to elite already you know what we're, we're ready for the leap fight all part of the plan all parts of the plan don't don't worry we we understand this we got this they almost ha they have about 600 health except for the middle one the middle one has 200 All right, we killed that one in the middle. Now we have the two ones with a ton of health and they're almost dead too. And we should be fine. Mirror orb actually duplicated into a mem orb. So yeah, this is really good. This is a pretty good stage right now. It's a really good right now, how it's turning out. And then we'll go like this and we'll go heal because I need a lot more health. It's not looking pretty for me. And then we'll go also upgrade the dagger orb. And then we'll go pumpkin pie probably. Yeah, let's go pumpkin pie. And then we'll go with getting some gold and We'll go over here and get more damage output. And pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. Man, pumpkin pie is so good. We're not hitting the extra bombs. We hit one of them. Actually, we hit two of them. We hit two of the extra bombs that were just all in the same location, I guess, for some reason. That is surprising to me, but whatever. And we killed them. Nice. And then we're going to get some health. Some health. Health is good. Health is amazing. We'll do embrace lightning probably. And then... Should we embrace the lightning? What's this boss? The boss is that boss. You know what? Let's go embrace lightning. We haven't done... One of those... We haven't got one of these in a while. Full oh, lightnings. I kind of hate it. It's not my favorite orb. We killed that boss really fast because it only had 49 health or 43 health. It's not my favorite. I mean, modded, there's a relic that actually makes it for orbs can get ball lightnings effect. And man, it's crazy. It's uh, very, very, very crazy is definitely one of my favorite relics in the game in modded version at least and there is another mod that i only tried out like one or two times that adds other stuff that i really wanted to try more of it but it's not working 
And I don't think the develop a mod developer wants to update it right now every single time the there's new updates and stuff and so there's a, it's just puddle mic. New updates are just problematic for the mods for this game. And so probably modding scene is going to be kind of dead until either maybe the new update they'll update it or until 1.0 comes out or they add workshop support. If they add workshop support, then yeah, there'll be a lot more mods uh, coming out and stuff support and stuff for mods. All right. Took some damage. All right, go over here. Doing zero damage, that's fine. And then doing 10 damage. Uh-oh. I might have just screwed myself over. <laughs> Alright, well, we have pumpkin pie, so maybe we'll be fine. <laughs> we maybe? I don't know. We all have lots of AoE, except for we do have Rod of Frost, so... We should be, we should be fine. We should be fine. But the problem is, AoE is kind of terrible. If you don't have AoE, you can be really screwed over in this, especially in this area. This area is very, very tough if you don't have AoE. I have AoE, so we don't have to worry too much but it's just, it's bad if you don't have it. I wish that there was a refresh over there. That would have been really good, but whatever. We did get that pumpkin pie and got all the orbs over there. Re relic, pegs, pegs. Why am I saying stuff wrong today? Sorry about that. Maybe too tired, I don't know. I stumble on words sometimes. That's fine. All right, 160 damage and we kill everything. Nice, and then we'll heal up and we'll go to the left and we'll go to a vent and hopefully we get a removes orb and it is a upgrade a orb. We'll upgrade a stone and now we're doing damage with that one stone, but other stones are not doing any damage if we get those. And we're doing massive damage with this right now. And then we also got pumpkin pie, which is pretty awesome. Nice, killed that one. All right, we'll try to get the refresh, refresh, come on. All right, well, we didn't get the refresh, but whatever. It was still pretty good what we got. And then we refresh the board, nice. And then we didn't do too much damage because we didn't have much damage last time. We did some bomb damage though last time, so we did kill some stuff, but it's just, we didn't do a ton of damage. All right, so we'll get that. And then we did some damage now, and then we'll go here and then did 200 damage there and then we'll go here and another 200 damage nice and then i can't buy any orbs so i should upgrade all these stones because they're not going to help me so much right now unless i have them at level two even that is going to be not very helpful. Like, they're not very helpful at all. Not helpful at all. And... They didn't do too much damage at all. That kind of sucks, but... You know what? That's okay. 
Eh, whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go for the pumpkin pie over there. But, uh, I didn't want to go for the pumpkin pie over here. I said that. Okay. Well, at least we did it. And we did some damage, at least. Man. I don't know why the game's wanting to screw me over right now. Nice. We got all the bombs right there. And then we did that damage. And then the real testament for this challenge is going to be Crucible 15. And we'll see how far we get with that. Can I beat it? Can we beat this one? Like, I'm in a bad position right now. I'm not doing lots of damage. Because I have to upgrade the pegs. If we can get Morbid, we might be able to do it. But then I don't have also the refresh. So, hmm. Like, there's a challenge there too. So, we'll have to see. We have to upgrade this stone. We have to. It's just a necessary thing to do. Come on, give me a good relic. Give me a good, good relic. Good relic. And we got healing or super boots or cookie. Let's go with Cookie. Cookie is pretty good. And then we'll see which way we want to go. Let's go for the Elite. So, we'll go to the right. Well, I kind of don't like Dagorb right now. Dagorb is not helping me. And I have to skip because that's going to do zero damage. Even that's doing no hardly any damage. Man, if I get the uh, shell, uh, the <laughs> multi ball thing, whatever it's called, something shell. I I am bad at pronouncing that thing. I know how it's pronounced, but I can't pronounce it. I don't know why. I've tried. I think I said it once correctly. But I, I can't pronounce it correctly. It's just, uh, it does not roll off my tongue at all like that for some reason. Sadly. All right, we'll upgrade a... No, we'll not upgrade. We'll just heal. And then we'll go to the right. And then we'll get the elite. And what's the... It's the wall. We should be fine if we get some good that's not great well if the wall gets near us and almost kills us then we will actually see what the stash of focus if it kills us saves us or not anymore and they did change it recently after i did that one video so we can see we will see we shall see. And then we'll do this. And we're doing just massive damage now. Now we have a lot of damage. Now we have it. And then... Nice. Let's go. And then let's upgrade. Well, let's not upgrade. Eh. Should we heal? Let's heal. It doesn't matter too much, too, because... We have super boots. I don't know why I healed. That was kind of stupid. Whatever. We just wasted money there. But ball lightning plus glorious suffering. Pretty um, awesome. Pretty good because then you can start stacking up all that damage. Yes, it it's doing zero damage. Right? That is a obvious thing. I do see that, but still pretty good, pretty awesome, especially if you can get the duplicate, the multiple one. And if you're playing modded and you, you have that effect to have it for all orbs can have the effect of the ball lightning, man, oh man, it is crazy. I really wish I could play custom runs in modded right now i want to see if modded are actually working after this so 
after I do 15 on this, if I die on 15, we'll have to see about that. If we die on 15, we're not going to play it until I beat it, but it's just... I'm playing this challenge until I die. That's pretty much what my goal is for this video. Alright, come on. Well, well, sadly, not enough damage to get really much here. And we did not hit the refresh, but we did some damage. And we killed it. We killed that one. And then we'll, we'll heal because I definitely need health. Oh, well, we get the wall. But, yeah, healing is also fine because we only heal half of the damage. And we'll upgrade that one. And then we also have the Elite, so the Elite could kill us. The Elite could be a worrisome thing right here, especially this Elite right now. It's a not good fight. It's a really bad fight I could got. It's probably one of the worst ones I could have got. Uh, that sucks. That is not a good fight to get. But whatever. It's okay. We got this. We should be able to do this still. It's 5,000 health. Oh, oh, okay. Well, we might be able to still do it. It's just, it has so much health. We have, we're not doing too much damage, too. We're barely at, we're almost doing 1,000 damage to it. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know why. Why does it need to have so much health right now? Of course, of course it has to have so much health. Ah. Uh. Alright, so... I'll try to do... I don't know why I'm doing this. This is doing zero damage. Well, wait, it's doing something. Alright, well, I need to hit that refresh. No! I needed to hit the refresh! No! Come on, refresh, refresh, refresh! Come on, are you serious? All right, what's the timing for this? What's the timing? Refresh. Now, 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 go, 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 go. Well, we're getting hit, getting hit. And we're probably going to die because we're only at like halfway for killing it. Oh, uh, this is not looking pretty right now. This is looking horrible right now. This is looking bad. This is looking pretty bad. It's not looking good. Alright, well. Crucible 10 killed us. Or Crucible 7. This is Crucible 7. Dang it. Crucible 7 was a little bit of a toughie. That was a little bit of a toughie. We're not going up to Crucible 15. Crucible 7 actually killed us. The hand on the wall got us. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it this was a cool challenge make it be me picking the echo orb was not the best orb to pick i don't know i i thought it was going to be good but me picking glorious suffering maybe probably killed the run and maybe picking that was a bad choice but it was still fun until we got to the elite fight and then it just ultimately got destroyed there i will see you in the next video if you do really like peglin content i make a lot of peglin content I have a ton of videos on Peglin. I'm going to keep on making Peglin content. I'm going to be making Peglin content for the rest of this year at least. And probably into the foreseeable future. Definitely, definitely subscribe. We'll play modded content when it does come out more. And I will see you in the next video. Alright, bye.